My name is Ryan Joyce. I'm a professional magician. I'm about ready to piss my pants. That's me. I find myself in all sorts of adventures. Oh my god, here we go. Abram found myself face to face with a grizzly bear once. Grr. But never in 10,000 years would I have ever expected someone to say. I'm going to sing, I cannot sing alone. So please welcome to the stage, Ryan Joyce. How did I get into this uncomfortable position? Well, let me show you. Uh, one of the singers on board, Molly, who has just got one of the most amazing voices I've ever heard. She threw across the idea of doing some vocal lessons. We were walking and I just said exactly what I said now to him. I said, your natural speaking voice is unbelievable. I'd love to like work with you and, and sing. He might have not exactly taken me serious. I thought it was like a joke at first. We started that day. And all these notes, they just can't make them sound musical. Is that a problem? <laughs> <laughs> There's a problem. No, not necessarily. Yeah! <laughs> I was nervous, I was anxious. As the ship explodes because I'm singing. <laughs> but she was such a good teacher that it didn't, didn't take long before that kind of faded away. So you can Someone told me as a kid, uh, when I was about seven or eight years old, it was my actual first voice teacher ever, that I cannot sing. It's kind of a hard thing to say that to a kid, and it kind of crushed me. I stopped taking voice lessons for a while, and then I went to a new lady who gave me hope. Uh, I majored in musical theater at the American Musical Theater and Dramatics Academy. That's why I feel qualified to teach. Uh... Uh... It didn't take long to realize that there was a lot of strain in my voice, there was a lot of holes, there was a lot of complexities. And because I was intimidated, I didn't want anyone to hear me. We had to find interesting locations and places around the ship that we could sing. Uh, oftentimes we would find home in the backstage area. You looked to soft out like you're young, right. so try it again. I wish fun tonight to see you. You know when the world is a kind of against you and you don't feel like you're making any progress? I call those two-step back days. Ah, it's so frustrating. Ah, I think it's gonna be something the more we do it, and you're just gonna wake up like you have with everything else and be able to do it. Hey, hey. you sound Damn. really, really good. Don't lose the support because then you get pitchy. And then you have days where it's, it's a couple steps hey, forward. Oh, gee. Gee, that's it. I'm proud of you. Something's happened. I'm trying to hit the A flat again. You wanna just go for it? Uh, yeah. Can I hear it? Yeah. and somebody who is willing to believe in you, <laughs> we can make some progress. We'll give the magic boy a camera, damn it. He'll try to be a star. So we had been doing voice lessons for a few weeks, and I knew that eventually the time on board was gonna come to an end. I wanted to, to work for something so that there was something exciting to look forward to before I left. So we decided we were gonna sing a karaoke. Today's song selection day for karaoke. That's kind of scaring me. We should definitely do something with the two of us. Okay. Um. I was thinking um, I could pull off the Celine Dion part if you can do the Andrea Pacelli. <laughs> for the prayer. And we can do the prayer. Yeah. La lucha que tu die. I pray I'll be alright. See? See how good he is? She's mocking me. Uh, my name is Simon Hansen, I am bandmaster and musical director on board. I am master of all bands, master of all music on the ship. Ryan is the most amazing magician, and even if he can't sing, he can probably magic up a voice from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think as Molly and I have discussed that Ryan's got the most amazing speaking voice, and we thought that surely must translate in, into a singing voice. And then one day, Molly walks in and says, uh, you won't believe this. There was no question in my mind that it would absolutely not be a disaster unless he turned it into a disaster. And immediately I was like, there's no, no way. No way am I gonna go on stage in front of a thousand people. Oh, I can't. I'm 
pretty sure the rehearsal was done after that because we needed some time 